Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Papas. Today, joined by Threats of Anomyces and Just Michael. Yes, we're having a share today. We have a lot of cool beers to crack, and we're starting off with a sour. So, this is uh, one of the beers from Brewery's Tiro series, or uh, the Brewery Tiro. It's a pretty much a separate facility, as far as I know, mm. right now. I didn't get to visit them when I was stateside. I kind of regret that because they do some tap only super fruited sours that look freaking crazy. Uh, but Brett, Brett brought this one over to the share, and this is the Breweries Tirol Frucht Series Guava Edition. So they do this series called Frucht, which is just fruited Berliner Weisses that's been aged in oak barrels with various different fruits. And you have the poison berries that were yeah. amazing. This is the guava version. So they, I, I also heard they did a lemon and cherry and yeah there are all the cranberry version which yeah. is not that good okay but they do many different versions yeah. with different fruits which yeah. is awesome yep. instead of just the, the classic you know stone mm. fruits and cherries and whatnot so uh, this is h and oak photos not oak barrels 4.3 percent it's got 16.9 grams of lactic acid per <laughs> liter so i think this is going to be pretty sour really sour uh, the head on all our glasses disappeared yeah. it looks like a glass of unfiltered apple juice right yes now. exactly uh, but we, you did get some head when you poured it out, and the, the beer also really wanted to get out of the bottle. Uh, yep. But yeah, unfiltered apple apple juice or something. I almost, know it. almost it's, New England IPA. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is going to be quite sour. Okay. Well, let's check out the aroma. Yep. Oh, lots of guava. Yeah. Lots wow. Of wow. Oh no! It yes. really has no like a dense, smoothie kind of yeah. density about yes. it. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is Ooh, it's it's really so fruity. good. Yeah. It's, a, really it's fruity. Not more intense of guava than the raised eyebrows. Yeah, then, from yeah, yeah regular like guava. More <laughs> guava than guava. No, no, no. They <laughs> compared to other beer, but hint of oak and definitely yeah. lots of wheat too, like doughy. It's very ice. wheaty. Um, yeah, it has that doughiness. Yeah, a doughy. Yeah. yeah, that's that great. really that's really nice with the guava. I sure. think. Mm. Also, it sounds weird, but sound it smells uh, sort of sweet. Yeah, yeah, it has that sweetness. Compared to the sourness. Yes, but guava is also really sweet. Yeah. Like really sweet fruit. But mm. let's try it. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's sour. This is buckery. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Ooh, it just keeps on. But it oh, is it really is. good. It's really good. But wow, oh my God, that's it's sour. Fruity. It's fruity and sour. <laughs> it's still going. This yeah, is one it's of the still most going. <laughs> it's one of the most sour beers. There's sort of a layer inside your mouth that's totally drying out. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm. glad I have uh, Tums leftovers from the yeah. states. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the things. I, I've never really had problem with sours drinking them, but if you do go to a sour brewery, like in the states, which I did with the garden one, and you only drink sours for like whatever session you're mm. doing visiting a brewery, your stomach gets a little bit upset. Yeah. Okay. Drink so this I, I don't think I could drink. Own. No, I, that, I would have. Oh, no, you shouldn't drink this. Start off with the chili and then this. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed bad stomach. This is something that if you did that on your own, you'd require tums. But it definitely helps on the second. Sip. Yeah, yeah. Second sip is not a sour. It is. Mm. It is still I, sour. It is still sour, but mm. it's it crazy how quick your palate acclimates to the sourness. Yeah. Actually, it gets oh. used to the flavor. But it's really fruity too. Really it's so fruity. fruity. Yeah. Intense guava flavor. It's yeah. one of the most intense guava flavored sours I've had, actually. Mm. And it's super tropical. Yeah, it's which very I really tropical. Like, it's like that tropical guava flavor. Yeah. And then hints of oak. Kind of. Yeah, fruit cocktail. Yeah, not, uh, not overwhelming. You no, 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 no. No, no. But a, a and, bit. And then a hint of uh, oak, not too much, but again, lots of wheat. Yeah. Mm. But really nice. that, that sourness also. Yeah, lactic sourness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big lactic sourness. Yeah. This is really good. But really super good clean. Sour. Yeah. Uh, sourness, no funk. Fresh. Yep. It's really nice. Uh, big fruit character. I'm thinking 94. This is an awesome Berliner Weisse. Yeah. I, I think I, I agree on the 94. Mm. I think I need to try more beers in this Frucht series because, man, yeah. they have a lot of fruit flavor. Yeah. Mm. It's really, it's, it's really good beer. It's, it's a really good uh, series uh, from from what I see, uh, of what I've tasted. Um, You've had a good one. I've had a bad one from the series. Yeah. But I would say the boysenberry is almost on this level also, so it's yeah, it's really good. Uh, but it's Mine really was good a cranberry and another fruit, but that was cranberry I orange. Can, yeah, I think it was cranberry orange. I, yeah. I cannot recommend that. That was thin, mm. Mm. but this one it isn't definitely. Yeah, ninety four for me. So really guys, good. that does it for the review. Of course, like there's almost something remind me of. Uh, 
the white gummy bears in high level gummies. Yeah, yeah, the, the yeah, 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 yeah. There's almost that something grapey, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. juicy yeah. grape juice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but guys, if you had a chance to try the brewery tour, Frucht Guava, let us know what you thought of this bad boy. If not, definitely go get some. Uh, if you're in Europe, I think they still have this on Belgium actually. Okay. Uh, they also have it. They have uh, a lot of brewery beers. I think Best of Beers also. Yeah, Best of Beers yeah. in Denmark. So check it out. Uh, if you had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it. What's your favorite? And do you have any recommendations from the Fuchs series from yeah. Brewery to Lose? Let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. 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 And see you guys in another video.